in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed religion that regardless of your sense of responsibility regardless of your financial capability the vicissitudes of life uh, and the factors that need to synergize themselves together to make a child become a responsible man is not absolutely within your control so when you come to hand over a child to God, it's not religion. Unfortunately, we make a lot of religion out of it. But it is a declaration by the father and the mother that Lord, we're handing this child over to you. You gave us this child as a loan and we are wise enough to hand over this child. You see that Luke chapter 2 and we'll read a few verses. We're reading from verse um, 22 down to the last verse but then we'll be jumping them when the days of our purification talking about moses now according to the law of moses were accomplished they brought him to where jerusalem to do what to present him not before a man of god not before a church before the lord 23 okay let's go to 24 please so we can hurry up and to offer sacrifice according to that which was said in the law of Moses, a pair of this and that and that and that and that. Next verse quickly. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. The same man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel. Read on. It says, give it to us 26 please. Okay. And it was revealed to him by the Holy Ghost that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to show you two things that happened and he came by the spirit how did he come not by the will of man not by the traditions of a church he came by the spirit into the temple and when the parents dedication except one of the parents are dead you don't dedicate a child with the father alone or the mother alone according to scripture the parents must be there acknowledging together it took two of them to bring that child there and it's going to take two of them to hand over the child to the Lord. Are we learning now? It says to do for him after the custom of the law. Read on. Let's hurry up. And he took him up by his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For mine eyes have seen a child. What did he call the child? What did he call the child? That means dedication is the place where the prophetic destiny of children are unraveled he didn't call him jesus he said my eyes have seen what you call a little baby now but i see the salvation of israel which thou has prepared before the face of all people uh-huh a light to the gentiles this is a man prophesying on jesus and the glory of thy people israel 33 and Joseph and his mother marveled at those things which were spoken of him. We're reading down to 40. And Simeon blessed them. So he did not just bless the child. He empowered the parents to be able to help the child become all that God destined him to be. And he said to Mary, his mother, behold, this child is set for the fall and the rising of many in Israel. And for a sign which shall be spoken against yeah a sword okay that that let's go to anna the prophetess now next verse the bible tells us that there was one anna a prophetess the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of asher the bible says she was of great age 38 please and she coming into that instant gave thanks likewise unto the lord and spake of him to all them that looked for the redemption 
the redemption in Jerusalem. 39. And when they had performed all things according to the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own city. The last verse. And this is the result of that dedication. Because of what happened in the temple, certain things became possible. What became possible? Read on Christians. And the child grew and then waxed strong in spirit. Filled with what? And what happened? Great grace was upon him. This became the experience of that child because the parents were able to hand him over. Are we together? Pastor Alpha and his lovely wife have brought their child before the Lord to hand over and say, Lord, you are the only one who can take care of this child. I can buy him drugs, but I cannot give him life. I can cover his head, but I may not be able to cover his destiny in my strength. I can give him food, but I cannot keep him healthy. Are we together now? It's an acknowledgement. A handover. And we're going to pray. I want us to stretch our hands. I may not have to hold the baby. Just, just hold the baby yourself. Father, hold the baby. Let's stretch our hands over this child and speak in one minute. Set for the rising of many, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we honor this child. We bless him. When the wise men came, they saw a baby, yet they bowed down to him. We declare that kings, nations will bow down to this child. We command that this child, like Jesus, will grow and work strong in spirit, will be full of wisdom and great grace upon him. The diseases that destroy children will not destroy him. We place upon him the mystery of exemption. In the name of Jesus Christ, this child is a proper child and he will grow well in the name of Jesus Christ when he reaches an age of discretion he will hand over his life willingly to Jesus and remain in the faith all through his life the fullness of his days he will fulfill I empower you Pastor Alpha and your lovely wife and I decree and declare to you that the grace the resources the wisdom it will take to raise this child I pray that it be supplied you in the name of Jesus that everyone who looks upon this child will favor you. Whoever means evil for this child, we declare him uncursable. Whoever speaks against him in the name of Jesus, the earth will fight them. We bless this child in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The name of the child is David Egahi Ojo Omokorede Meshach Alpha. Um, the parents will tell us which one we are going to use to identify the child but this, these are the names I, I read it one more time e David Egaheojo Omokorede Meshach Alpha David we bless you in the name of Jesus we declare that it is well with you we decree and declare that when men are cast down for you it will be a lifting up and in the name of Jesus, by the election of grace, I lay my hands upon this child. And we dedicate him in the presence of God's people, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. He remains dedicated unto the Lord, in the name of Jesus. Congratulations. I'm acknowledging you for... Help me. I don't know how to sing it. Celebrate with them just for one minute. We always issue a certificate. This is a beautiful certificate. Um, so that when the child grows up, he will know that he was handed over to the Lord. Praise the Lord. So the Father, in the name of Jesus, I hand this over to you. Let me shake you. My hands are busy. But in the name of Jesus Christ, let it be a token of this child's dedication. In the name of the Father, of the Son, 
and of the Holy Spirit. Pastor Alpha, congratulations, my dear, congratulations. Young man, congratulations for having a younger brother. In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Please return back to your seat. I know many of us who want to sow into their lives, celebrate with them further. After service, they will be somewhere waiting for you. Do well to celebrate with them and the Lord will honor you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Let's get to the business of tonight. Holy Spirit part three. The Holy Spirit part three. Jesus, we bless you. And tonight we're going to be looking at the ministry of the Spirit. We started off looking at um, the person of the Holy Spirit, you know, different kinds of encounters with the Holy Spirit. And then we looked at the ministry of the Holy Spirit last week or the last time we discussed this. And today we are looking at the ministry of the Spirit. We are looking at how a man can operate in fellowship and partnership with the Holy Spirit. The ministry of the Holy Spirit defines his activities in the life of a man. But the ministry of the Spirit is a communication of how a man can partner with the Holy Spirit to do wonders in the earth. For our reference tonight, I want us to look at Mark chapter 16, please. Mark chapter 16. The Gospel of Mark chapter 16. Verse 20. Mark 16 verse 20. Let's read together. It's projected. One to read. And they went forth uh -huh, and preached everywhere. Read on. The Lord walking with them and confirming the word with signs following the lord walking with them not just going ahead of them it was the signs that followed them but the lord walking with them i told us that there is a dimension of the holy spirit in you are we together now but when you want to begin to describe the ministry of partnership with the holy spirit it's not just the Holy Spirit in you. The name Alos Paracletos, when you read the, the epistle of John from 14, 15, 16, he says, and the comforter whom the Father will send in my name. You know, he began to introduce us. The word, the Greek word is Alos Paracletos, one who is sent to continue what someone else was doing. So the Holy Spirit, um, as we discussed the last time, is on earth today as an extension a continuation that everything that jesus christ was to the disciples who would later be apostles he is to the church today are we together now the last time we agreed that the ministry of the holy spirit is to creation to unbelievers to believers at any given point in your life you need the holy spirit as an unbeliever you need him to furnish the reality of the christ in you and to plant in you conviction you can't get convicted by yourself it takes the ministry of the holy spirit as a believer we discussed extensively the last time several things that the holy spirit would do in our lives activating your spiritual senses revelation and understanding of scripture guidance and direction renewal and transformation birthing in you the fruit of the spirit and um, empowerment and, and so on and so forth but the Bible says the Lord walking with them. They were moving, doing all that they were asked to do. But there was an invisible personality. Listen carefully. Walking with them. And his assignment in that context was to confirm. That means to force things to comply. To force things to comply. To ensure that the word of the Lord upon their lips. Notice the Bible never said confirming their word. No. They spoke it, but it was the word of God. Confirming the word with signs. All kinds of diverse miracles, signs and wonders. Now, you would see Peter. You would see John, James moving alone. And you would see supernatural possibilities. Possibilities that cannot be affordable to the natural man. And the Bible gives us a mystery behind it. It says that there is one walking with them. Can I use you, Holy Spirit? Walking with them. 
Now you imagine for one minute that I'm walking with this guy and um, as limited as I may seem, my partnership with this gentleman is affording me certain possibilities. For instance, if I'm supposed to lift this and it's a bit difficult for me, I can't lift it with one hand and assuming I have only one hand, then you will see another, don't lift it, just touch it. You'll see an invisible hand. You are seeing only one person holding this, but you are seeing the results of two people. It says, the Lord walking with them. Are we together now? Walking with them. So, when it was time for Peter, in Acts chapter 3, 4, right? To lift that guy at the beautiful gate. It was just Peter and John, you thought. But it was Peter, John, and the spirit of the living God. When Peter held the hands of that man, there were two people holding his hands. It's only that one is visible and that's the one you see. And he lifted him. Listen, I want to teach you the mystery behind the strange results of many people. You see ordinary men, but results that are superhuman. Results that are beyond the scope of men. I was so blessed by the testimonies of the wonderful people and those testimonies are signs they are proof that you are not alone hmm. are we together now it's one thing to be aware that the holy spirit is available it's one thing to even receive him but it's another thing to walk with him walking with the holy spirit is an entire aspect of a believer's life there are many people filled with the holy spirit born again but they have not mastered the art of partnership let me show you a scripture i found this scripture and it blessed me so much isaiah 48 thank you you come back shortly isaiah 48 verse 16 isaiah 48 verse 16 i want us to read it is projected one to read come near unto me hear ye this i have not spoken in secret from the beginning from the time that it was and there am i now i want you to read this is the part i want us to read together one to read and now the lord god and his spirit has sent me who sent you the lord god and his spirit other version says the lord god alongside his spirit that means the lord did not send you alone he sent you and attached the holy spirit like i would send you to the bank um well it's not a good analogy but let's let's just assume i would send you to the bank and give you an atm machine that atm machine is what will give you the capacity to be able to withdraw money you can go to the bank on your own you can stand before the machine but you need another agency outside of you this is the mysterious yet simple reason <laughs> result um, um how do i put it now um um factor that's the word i'm looking for behind the results the mysterious results of people you're looking at koinonia for instance and you're seeing amazing things that's why we say it is by the spirit by the spirit it's only in partnership with the holy spirit that certain things can be done listen human beings are limited it's a revelation i want you to get used to no matter how intelligent no matter how educated no matter how civilized there is only so much the three-dimensional realm can afford you it takes an understanding that your victory and my victory your triumph and my triumph in life is exclusively non-negotiably a product of my partnership with the holy spirit understanding him his ministry and learning how to align and then you will produce wonders wonders that will shock you jesus himself the bible tells us that when jesus walked upon the earth for 30 years ladies and gentlemen his life was as ordinary as anything the living logos the word of god we never saw him prophesying to anyone doing anything no he was just in the temple learning like any other student nothing ordinary extraordinary about his life and then the bible tells us that one time he went and saw john baptizing people and when he was baptized watch this 
the heavens became open over him and a voice spoke this is my beloved son etc etc then the bible says the holy spirit drove him to the wilderness and he fasted for 40 days and so on and so forth satan tempted him and afterwards the bible says he returned in the power of the spirit the next time we hear of jesus christ is turning a city upside down the next time we hear of jesus cripples the dead rising the sea the elements of creation obeying him and they asked jesus what the secret was and he was not ashamed listen listen carefully jesus himself revealed to us a very deep secret in john chapter 15 john 15 please give it to us john 15 john chapter 15 my hell you most high i am the true vine and my father is the husband man so we are seeing that there is a participation of multiple people the results that we saw in the life of jesus saw in the life of the early church jesus is telling us that this is not just a one-man show some are visible some are invisible but there are forces there are personalities working together to make this thing happen verse 2 every branch in me that beareth not fruit it take it away so branch in me branch in me that means he is different from the branch he said i am the vine you look at a tree but there are specifications all of them are not doing the same thing there is one responsible for producing the fruit there is one responsible for making sure the branch is healthy this is called partnership it's called partnership a participation a distribution of assignment like a husband and a wife he supplies money take ten thousand naira and he sits down happily in the parlor you would think he's irresponsible but he has played his part and the wife goes to the market buying all kinds of things and goes to the kitchen and you see her working so hard you will think the man is wicked wait until it's now time for the child's school fees you see the woman singing praises in the morning while he's calculating how to raise the money partnership and love is so powerful that sometimes they help themselves ah this is where the mercy of god comes in there are times that the the woman may be incapacitated and the man says look i know that it is your role to work in the kitchen but i love you so much we are a team if you fail i still fail so i can come into the kitchen that's why you see the holy spirit sometimes can move even beyond the jurisdiction of his work and step into your life and you see things you know that you did not finish keeping the principles that should produce the result but he came in spirit of god are you learning something now the lord and his spirit has sent me how many people in this world you see people say i'm alone i don't even know what is happening that statement is a product of ignorance listen very carefully that statement hear me please is a product of ignorance it looks like a well-meaning lamentation over the vicissitudes of life but that is a communication it's an embarrassment it's a every time you act helpless you make the holy spirit look irresponsible listen um let me use a lady to sing come watch this now we are going maybe to the market and there is a distribution of work and i'm saying tosin work with me you are going to help me make some purchases are we together now now look at this please if we get to the market and let's say we are going to buy a cow and we stand and there are several cows they check the cows and we find out that these cows are healthy cows we are ready to buy it and all of a sudden tosin is shaking are we together are you following my my example tosin is shaking and then the people are asking her madam why are you shaking and she says huh, i i just hope that we'll be able to buy this cow who is who will take the shame i'm standing there as a responsible personality i was the one who asked her to go and buy a cow it was not her opinion are we together now and i'm standing and only because they said the cow is 150,000, she's shaking two things will cause that one she does not know me 
or number two is an act of rebellion she has done something that makes her perceive that my partnership has been cut away now fear is as a result of her consciousness that she is not holding the money in her hands it doesn't matter who holds the money the most important thing is let payment be made you see why we have a lot of fear oh god you are leading me to do certain things but lord based on what i have there are things god does not give you it is your partnership with him he is the one who does the payment but the flesh wants to hold the money by yourself lord i want to be let it be that the anointing is like a charm if there is an anointing where is it that's why we like oil that's why we like things we can hold and the holy spirit says this journey is by faith if you are going to pray for the sick there is nothing on your hand you are going to have to believe that i'm there partnership let me tell you this is my mindset i never walk alone you hear all of those results human beings cannot produce it no not with the the stringent academic um system that we have no sir partnership so she's standing unable to pay and i am more than enough to buy the whole cows there are we together but she has a price there's a there's a role that she has to play and this lady can be shaking there embarrass me and then without consulting me she can tell the cow seller sorry we accept an embarrassment we came here to disgrace ourselves it is not within our power and she reverses the interesting thing about the holy spirit is he's so gentle he will follow you so your limitation is not his limitation your limitation is your inaccurate understanding of the resources that are resident within him you are only looking at what you have listen 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 the greatest dimension of the faith work of a believer is not to receive things is to walk with the spirit you will not always receive there are things that will remain with him but he will walk he will be the doer you see this receiving is a nice thing and there is a dimension to it but most of this sense of reception is a communication of unbelief we just want to be in control is our obsession for control lord now that um you are sending me to this place how am i sure that you are going to help me father let somebody send me an alert now let me know i have my transport fare going and coming and the money to rent the venue and god will say no we are together in this say god i love you but um you are not the one who will pay the rent you see we make those kind of stupid statements lord i want an alert watch this if you get an alert now then you are happy and he said lord let's go and he says no it's difficult for me to take glory now because the alert is already in your the miracle is not your receiving the alert the miracle is walking with him entering a city where nobody knows you and you say she brakataya the spirit of god we're in this place and all of a sudden your trust puts pressure on him and a stranger comes from nowhere and says sorry it looks like you are what is the issue and you say well um i'm just coming here say what's your name are you sam i had a dream last night and i saw you are you the one that's how he's glorified so while you were sleeping the other part of the equation the spirit of god was already making arrangements that he did not inform you does not mean he did not do it this is where our unbelief is we always want god to give us all the details before we trust him no the mission is follow me follow me follow me lord you are sending me to zamfara what how are we how are we going to do this you must give me the details when will i marry how many children will i have will it be a girl or boy show me everything first and god says me i created the heavens and the earth i left a compendium of my integrity to convince you that i am able will i disgrace myself just because of you 
and we say lord keep talking all i know is that if i don't see it and handle it if you pay attention to what i'm sharing with you today your life will be a wonder yes because when people look at you they are only looking at the smallest part of the equation young Cho calls him my senior partner we are partners in this but i'm not alone so where you see me physically weak there is a mighty invisible force standing to back me you want to kill me you kill both of us you see that you want to curse me you curse both of us i agree that i can fail on my own but with god with him with him quarter to failure he will appear and manipulate the equation and you know that no 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 based on what this brother did you are supposed to fail but with the introduction of this personality he will alter everything change everything believers the partnership with the holy spirit is not for men of god the partnership the ministry of the spirit i will tell you what it is shortly but the partnership with the holy spirit is not some kind of thing for preachers so many people say wow this guy is called into the miracle ministry why not so you go ahead and try to know the holy spirit no the holy spirit was sent listen to me carefully as a strengthener as a comforter as an advocate the revealer of secrets he said then the secret was revealed to daniel until it was revealed he did not know cheap battles we have lost cheap battles in life because we've been fighting alone our parents have been fighting alone they are still fighting alone that's why people carry their certificates and say no no based on this certificate it must be and then when they are coming to god for help they don't just say god come and help me they say god see i'm a graduate so use it and god says please when i want to move you don't tell me how to move your job is to believe that i move don't hold a certificate and think that is the basis of me blessing you lord i have seven children they are all useless use them to bless me and god says uh -uh. i can save your children and lift your children but if i want to bless you it has nothing to do with using your children i can use anybody including your enemy the ministry of the spirit and the lord walking with joshua selman and the lord walking with koinonia producing results that you know are not human producing results you know defy the wisdom of men whenever you see an extraordinary manifestation of wisdom it's not just by studying no the holy spirit you can have knowledge but to create changes it takes power it takes the introduction of someone else that is not you someone once asked me a question a man of god he asked me a question and he said man of god how do you gather supposedly the best of everything how do you get worshipers that are so nice protocol people that are so nice is it that you apply is it that you do this and i laugh i i tell him do you think i have the power in myself to vet people and know don't forget that we're not alone spirit of god he knows how to draw them the same way he knows where your destiny helper is the same way he knows your geographic location but the trouble is this our own belief this our own belief we must listen we must walk this thing tonight to say lord i trust you and i believe in you he said but i know whom i have believed in and i am persuaded that he is able i am persuaded that he is able i'm persuaded that he is able i wish we had time and I, I allowed Pastor Alpha and his lovely wife to share with you the testimony of their child. How this lady gave birth. It was a, there were supernatural things that happened. He shared with me a bit of it. Let me just share one of it if you permit me, Pastor. There was a time the baby, it was like the baby was too big. Brothers and sisters, she pushed twice. The baby came out. They measured him a few minutes later on and his weight. Am I right? 
his weight had increased shrunk came out and increased back that's not a man you can get pregnant you can't shrink a baby it takes someone else with you this consciousness of not being alone this consciousness of not being alone our carnality our our sensuality is what makes us feel because i'm alone i don't see anybody that means there is no help no he said i will lift up my eyes listen unto the hills and he said from whence cometh my help he said my help comes from the maker the lord the maker of the heavens and the earth i will not leave you comfortless don't act comfortless jesus said it i will not leave you comfortless i will not leave you comfortless apostle you don't understand my situation my father is late my mother is late i sympathize with you but brothers and sisters if you knew what the holy spirit could do in your life if only you recognize his presence and give him room give him room the holy spirit is a gentle spirit he will not bump into your life when you make the holy spirit the chief influencer of your decisions you will be amazed at the miraculous things that will come from your mind what is the ministry of the spirit write this down i'm preaching this with all passion in my heart because this is one of the biggest secrets of my life listen listen the bible says it is not good for man to be alone i know we talk of marriage this is marriage is a marriage is a borrowed is a borrowed phenomenon to represent something spiritual it is not good in other words man cannot be effective alone i will make a help suitable suitable in other words there are potentials in man but all by himself there are things he cannot do so i will make a help so when jesus sent the holy spirit as a helper is because he knows the bible says we do not have a high priest who has not been touched with the feelings of our infirmities he knows he will face financial troubles he knows that your health will be challenged he knows there are forces in the earth he knows that the world we live in is so unfair unfair and he left us his spirit the ministry of the spirit is a revelation the ministry of the spirit are you writing is a revelation on how a believer through fellowship and partnership a revelation on how a believer through fellowship and partnership with the holy spirit will produce extraordinary results will produce extraordinary results giving glory to god a revelation of how a believer an ordinary person an ordinary villager an ordinary uneducated person an ordinary orphan an ordinary widow an ordinary widower an ordinary third class graduate can come into partnership and fellowship with the holy spirit and they two together always will produce extraordinary results results that defy science defy logic listen you've heard me say it here it has become an anthem that when it is listen when it is the doing of man it is ordinary and relatable but when it becomes the lord's doing it becomes marvelous in our eyes when your career is just the normal pathway every graduate takes there is nothing worthy of applause 
but when it becomes extraordinary and supernatural then it is marvelous and listen john chapter 15 give us verse 8 please let me show you how god takes glory john 15 and verse 8 let's read one to read hearing this is how my father is glorified read on that ye bear what that ye produce results everybody say results shout it please results listen 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 the earth only responds to one language results results the end of your confession the end of your jumping falling around the end of whatever is to be able to produce results that men can recognize it is only through the results that men can see it's a demonstration of the might of god it is results that makes you a witness it is results that makes you an ambassador you are promoting the interest of a man and you have proofs for it are we together now when your life is barren of results especially extraordinary results god cannot be glorified it's impossible for god to be glorified there is a statement that he wants to use your life to make to principalities and powers and so he takes ordinary you ordinary you i don't say that in a derogatory way i know that we are in christ but you need to understand the dynamics every time we say we are in christ understand that we are the weaker part of the equation it is his love that makes us and his grace that makes us together it's not as if you are two like two intelligent business partners one has money one is an it guru then they come together no it is one totally weak helpless failure and another infinite personality coming into partnership are we together now so never mistaking the fact that when i talk of participation i'm not talking of a participation that is something you would have done outside god for without me ye can do nothing your own participation is alignment through obedience alignment through obedience that's all you are required to do that's your part of the equation in your work with the spirit there is only one assignment as far as partnership is concerned it's called alignment through obedience alignment you align to him and that happens through obedience obedience is a summation of every principle every law every strategy every dictate of god as revealed by his word to commit god to your affairs it's called obedience having the readiness to judge all disobedience when your obedience is complete the ministry of the spirit how many preachers today pray in tongues jump up and down believe they are filled with the holy spirit but they don't work with the holy spirit they go for programs alone they even pray in tongues to be filled with the holy spirit is not the same as working with the spirit you are working with the consciousness of partnership with him i'm standing on this stage you are only seeing one man are we together now but there are two people you are hearing one voice but there is an invisible power behind that voice that will produce conviction are we together so i look at someone and i prophesy to you and say in the name of jesus may your life change can a man tell you that kind of thing you too you i mean you are intelligent can a man talk to you and change your life no you are hiv positive go and become negative just like that what pride without the holy spirit who gave you that audacity the centurion got it right for i am a man in partnership with an authority and based on that partnership i say to one go and he goes i say to one come and he comes jesus i know that you are standing here you are a 33 year old body but mysteriously there is an ancient spirit working in you and jesus said i've not found this faith this understanding no not in israel that ordinary men 
can work with an ancient spirit and produce results that are bigger than them you see ordinary men but you see God's results let me show you the partnership of the spirit it says the Lord is my shepherd as a result I shall not want he says he makes me to lie down I can refuse but my own partnership is compliance to lie down in green pastures he restores my soul he guides me he never forces me he guides me guides me the first the first proof that you are walking with the Holy Spirit is your submission to his leadership the first proof that you are walking with the Spirit write it down submission to his leadership where his leadership is not an opinion where his leadership is not a discussion you don't do things the way you want to do there is an influence submission to his leadership and thou shall hear a voice from behind saying this is the way walk here in it you can choose to refuse you can choose to argue look at me the first proof that a man is walking by the spirit is total submission to the leadership of the holy spirit lord if it be possible let this cup pass nevertheless not my will but thy will submission to the leadership of the holy spirit knowing that the holy spirit is god and according to jeremiah 29 11 it says for i know the thoughts that i think towards you say at the lord listen carefully they are thoughts of good or peace and not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end that means i can be led of the spirit i do not even know but i believe by faith i've taught you something about the leadership of the holy spirit let me reiterate on it watch this let me use someone come please if this guy believes with all his heart that he is being led by the spirit or led of the spirit watch this if this guy believes that he's led of the spirit are we together and this is where the holy spirit wants him to go to but he takes a step this direction and he's doing it innocently with all sincerity believing he's led of the holy spirit the spirit of god will take the door and put it here to make sure he passes right this is the mysterious thing about working with god perfection is not a requirement sincerity is the sincerity of your heart <laughs> So it's, it's, not, it's not the issue of perfection of hearing God. Perfection, oh God, no, 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 no. You will make so many mistakes trying to discern his voice. But regardless of it, his integrity is committed to making sure you get to the place of destiny. This is our consolation. There are many times Paul wrote certain things and said, I speak as a man. This is my opinion. It's not that the Holy Ghost gave me any understanding. This is my opinion yet all together the bible says all scriptures were inspired how many including what paul was saying an opinion of a man he leads me and guides me to the city up above he leads me and guides me to my place of destiny he leads me and guides me to the city of God, He leads me and guides me to my place of destiny. One more time, He leads me and guides me to the city of God, He leads me and guides me to my place of destiny. Listen, every time God speaks to you about your destiny he speaks to you as if he's talking to himself it will be so big god will tell you white men will come you are going to take over europe and you are watching little you and you are saying god don't mock me don't mock me how
how shall these things be mary said seeing that i know not a man and the angel said you have asked a good question it will not happen just because you have a womb the power of the highest there is a provision i'm just giving you the information so that you will align but it won't be only you i will call you into a healing ministry oh lord i have never healed a headache don't worry your job is to believe for when he comes then you will see wonders wonders listen this is what god told me many years ago yes to walk with him the holy spirit was introduced to me in a very strange way i've shared a few of those 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 stories with you people i wish i had time i would have shared with you my encounters with the holy spirit just a little naive young innocent boy moving around and the holy spirit came like a guy who is looking for a wife ah huh? he comes to propose to you joshua selman can you walk with me and i turn you into a wonder and all your unbelief says uh -uh. based on what the newspaper and the history books told us you have to do a b c d there must be an uncle in civil defense an auntie in cbn then when you add that equation is equal to success and this stranger comes to you that you have never met and he says walk with me like a gentleman will come and hold the lady's hands and say i want to marry you it's a risk is that true and he says just believe me i don't look like it now but there are all kinds of potentials and that lady takes a risk and they begin the journey the journey of destiny 10 years later she is the wife of the person with the largest company in the whole world and you admire her no admire her risk admire the sacrifice admire that step of faith that even when she did not understand many people see what god has done in our lives today and they say apostle you are lucky no i'm not lucky no i'm not lucky no i'm not lucky it's better to even say i'm a benefactor of god's grace not luck where were you in the night when he came to me and said son trust me when he was speaking to me you were not there the same way god is telling some of us you may have come from a village you are the last born you can't speak english but just trust me and let me make a wonder out of you and many of us are saying oh god it can't work that way partnership when the holy spirit comes into your life he doesn't ask you your age he doesn't ask you your gender he doesn't ask you your education he doesn't ask you how many hours of prayer he doesn't ask you what revelation you know because all of those things are seeds they will still die no matter what the accomplishment is when a seed is big or small it will still die when he comes he says look i want you to trust me and let's work together then he will begin to guide you he will destabilize your life into nonsense because your plans your dreams your hopes everything scatters you think you are confused but he's leading you all of a sudden brothers and sisters one more step and you are into a life of beauty and glory oh lord my plan was to marry that lady my plan was to marry that guy why have you been stopping every brother coming and god says just keep walking with me when we arrive there you will look back and all the glory will be to him There are businessmen who have held his hands naive ignorant people they know nothing about business nothing about finances come they came from families that no destiny no future full of all kinds of causes and in their frustration he came to them and he said can you trust me and he said lord i don't have much oh. he says no problem i'm not asking you for much just give me your hands Give me your hands <laughs> ah, and he will hold you step by step i remember when we were about to start koinonia where would you get a big venue i saw these days in the vision and i said lord there's no auditorium i know that can take people and i was praying and there he came koinonia is not your ministry koinonia is my ministry 
so let me guide you you are only the physical representation that they can see like a manager of a company but i am the owner let me guide you and i saw in a vision cgc how would i get the venue the venue was small but if he's leading you he will shake men he will raise donkeys he will make stone speak when he's leading you he will move all kinds of things the leadership many of us have been cheated in life because we have allowed over dependence on intellectualism to cheat us we have robbed ourselves of the simplicity and the foolishness of following him are we together yes brothers and sisters listen this battle is not your own if you leave it to the right fighter you will win you have been fighting a battle you have not this you are not I, I don't know i'm prophesying to somebody this battle is not your own it will kill you on your own it will kill you it will kill you that's the song the battle isn't yours but mine the battle isn't yours but mine god is speaking battle isn't yours but mine the battle isn't yours oh god i am 25 years i am 27 years how will i ever be established in this life no uncle to help me that's nonsense that battle is not your own you were not designed to be established by yourself there is something that establishes men listen believe me when i tell you i live a fearless life i don't live i don't live a fearless life just because i am a macho man i don't live a fearless life just because there's 10 naira in my pocket i live a fear the day i discovered that i am never alone in the equation i found rest they got it very well find rest find rest look at this little boy pastor alpha's son he knows i have a responsibility to breathe and live this man has a responsibility to feed me for as long as I remain his son. Many of us have become God to ourselves. That's why we are being punished day and night. Many pastors are almost dying. How do I raise money for church? As if you are the one who sent yourself. How do I gather members? One pastor is about to leave me. Pastor, why do you want to leave me? All that is nonsense. When you realize that you are not alone. Say I'm not alone. Prophesy it. Say I'm not alone and the lord walking with them and the lord writing exams with them and the lord walking with them and the lord building that house with them and the lord doing that business with him and the lord working on that job someone looks at you and says you'll be a failure in life you are going to fail i will make sure i frustrate you he's talking to two people he should know who the second person is frustrate who now because we are inseparable who are you going to frustrate me or the fountain of wisdom so when you see people run oh somebody said he will kill me in the village somebody said i will never marry over her dead body all of that is nonsense it is your faith they are working on and you believe it and receive it and your life begins to there are many of us constantly requiring um endorsement by people because we do not know that the spirit of the lord makes everybody a first class personality there are no second class people with god submission to the leadership of the holy spirit let me tell you one big secret in my life i never do anything until i hear god did you hear what i just told you if God does not speak I will not carry this speaker and leave it there now the problem with many of us is we have been indoctrinated that God is always speaking I respect those opinions but based on the word of God and my experience God does not always speak he speaks but he's not like a robot talking in the fifth day of the tenth month of the tenth year the word of the Lord came the word of the Lord came. The word of the Lord came. 
the word of the Lord came the patience of knowing that when his voice comes what you call wasted time is rubbish when his voice comes it will bring you speed oh god my colleagues have gone and left me i've been a graduate for 10 years what are you doing with my life most of them have even built houses let his word come when the holy spirit comes and says son it's time you will not walk you will fly oh no 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 he does not give you progress he lifts you me. see this is why you see some people quiet and then all of a sudden in certain seasons they just explode and you look at them and you're like ah where did this guy come out from nobody comes out of nowhere it's a lie you just were not there during their times of dealings with the spirit if we launch a television station now all over the world for the next six months they'll say there is a channel koinonia tv my god come and see what is happening as though it just started no sir nobody just starts in on stage there is a track record of walking with the holy spirit that's why you see i acknowledge him so much so much when you see me talk about the holy spirit he can annoy you i'm not copying benny Hinn. no it's a revelation take away the holy spirit from my life you will be so embarrassed by what is left it will not be worth it take away the holy spirit from my life i'm not worth your attention take away the holy spirit from my life i'm not worth your confidence but with him <sighs> now you be god almighty god for you know the man you know the man one more time now you be god almighty god you know the man you know the man listen do you know the meaning of what you just said you don't use human strategies you are not a man when he comes to hold your hands he's not going to do the y the x he's not that dull he's called the spirit of god my ways are not your ways neither are my thoughts your thoughts for as far as the heaven is when god comes you expect him to move you this way and god says let's start going back and he said lord the destination is there he says i know just go back ah, ah. Do you go back to go forward you are just leading and you turn and you find out you are there he listen he does not know the way he is the way it's not like he he just leads you he is the way he said i am the way have you learned to trust him show me what role he played in the decisions that you made show me what roles he's playing now show me the role of the holy spirit in your financial decisions show me the role of the holy spirit in your relationships marital decision show me the role of the holy spirit in your ministry show me the role of the holy spirit in your academics ask your parents that's the secret behind the failure of many of our parents we cannot see how he led them pride and arrogance I went to school I've done this I've done that and life whips them left right and center and then you find a dear poor woman in the village oh Lord I may not be educated I don't have much I can't preach but Lord I just have a little boy if you can use me if you can use him and God says these are the kind of people I want ten years later at age 10 or 11 that boy is already doing wonders and the woman is there 20 years 30 years down the line he's already celebrated all around the world because an innocent woman listen there is nothing in my work with god the i know how to touch the heart of god let me tell you surrender 
that is the is the best language of god in his dealings with men surrender lord i can't do it lord it is not in my power i acknowledge you that's music to his ears i show you a secret to walking with the spirit surrender surrender lord i'm brilliant let me start when i hook somewhere i will employ you like a consultant and he watches you some of us have learned to die in his arms when you see me worshiping god i worship him like a fool i will roll from end to end lord what am i without you spirit of the living god you are the mysterious wisdom behind what i do when i was i was i think it was yesterday night into this morning i was just lying down and i said lord imagine the mighty things you are going to be doing today healing people blessing people imagine the thousands of people you are going to be gathering today and the lord told me something as long as you keep walking with me you will see my life in your life my life in your life that's what god told me this morning for as long as you walk with me you will see my life not my hand you see a man living you know that this is another life this is another result that's why we keep going from glory to glory that's why we keep going from dimension to dimension that's why we never give credit to the flesh never give credit to the flesh now the truth is men will clap for you men will say wow you are this you are that sometimes the holy spirit will allow you don't stop them let them pat your back but a wise person will go back and kneel down and say spirit of the living god look what you've done with my life this is the way you father me i love the way you father me this is the way you father me i love the way you father me this is the way you father me i love the way you father me this is the way you father me i love the way you father me listen I show you a fail proof secret respect his voice respect his leadership whether it is comfortable to you or not I just believe that the end is peace your mind is too small to understand the ways of God I respect him I've lost the ability to tell God no if it is the voice of God and it's the direction of God so be it ancient kings never went for war until they inquired haven't prepared the army they will either use divination or prophets or priests let us know god's opinion and god will say go i have given you victory the moment he spoke there was no fear again moses was confronted with several challenges notice how moses will always retreat back to god all right nation of israel there is a red sea standing before us i know what many of us would have done look um i'm an intelligent man just just allow me uh let me process this now moses said all of you calm down are you calm they said okay he ran to god and said god what do i do what do i do partnership what do i do partnership remember i said if your presence would not go with me i can't go i don't want any embarrassment and he said look moses don't be afraid stretch your rod Tell the people to move forward moses has said god please uh, can you just do something can you compress a cloud to become like a road let's use that strategy how can you tell a man to go and part water it's because it has happened that's why you believe it and all of a sudden moses went and nation of israel let's start moving and they looked at him they said you see this idiot is back from wherever he went to he's back as stupid as always he said we should die instead of him to just say i don't have a solution he's now saying god said but there was the invisible part they didn't know the moment he stretched forth his rod signs and the lord walking with moses confirming the word with signs how about joshua went round jericho and they saw it 
what is the strategy of god how do we defeat a city whose fence can sit five chariots the whole of cgc from here to here was still not the fence of jericho so even if the fence turned around it will still be another fence it sank and god said let me give you the strategy walk around once every once for seven days the seventh day move around seven times and he went foolish enough and said guys i've gotten the strategy they went around i can imagine a nation of israel listen even if you are afraid still obey while you are complaining be obeying lord i don't think i understand but let your legs keep taking you to the place of obedience faith is not fearlessness faith is the resilience to obey him to the latter regardless of what you feel the ministry of the spirit submission to the leadership of the holy spirit number two the second dimension of the ministry of the holy spirit is walking in the might the power and the grace of the spirit walking in the might the power the grace of the spirit where it is not your strength again i can do all things philippians 4 13 through christ which strengtheneth me the word christ yes not just the person alone he's anointing the ministry of the spirit is a ministry where a man has been overshadowed by the power of the holy spirit where you begin to walk by another agency you are the one carrying out the physical activities but the energy the might the power the wisdom the strategy is not yours watch this if i lift this keyboard or i lift this on one hand it's understandable you look at me and feel i should have power enough as an adult to lift that is that true but when i gather these four people no don't I, I, you think i'm going to do that when i gather these four people and i hold them and you see me lift them you are going to say i have jazz you will attribute it to an advantage that is tied to the realm of the spirit because human beings should not do that when you see a man use his teeth to drag a car please be wise there are two people dragging that car when you see someone in the market square putting his head inside a hyena's mouth and he doesn't enjoy him you see people do it in the market or someone shoot an arrow or cut themselves with knife there are two people there are always two people a human and a spirit when you see an old woman say you must die there are two people talking the old woman who is the medium and the spirit speaking when you ever become alone on earth you will die it's always a ministry of two you and the spirit of god and his power and his grace if you are not conscious of that oneness and you just drag yourself i want to go and pray for the sick how many people have died of sickness because they thought it's just because the bible said it the bible said it they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall be healed god's word said it i believe it it settles it and you go and die because of ignorance you just go and lay hands on somebody and all of a sudden carry what is upon that person and produce casualty in your life there is the dynamics of the operation of the word it starts with the holy spirit it is his power that produces the results when you speak do you speak alone or are you just an echo of the real person speaking john said i am the voice of one crying i'm not the word but i am the voice i allow that word to find expression brothers and sisters this is the secret of this ministry you see operating under open heavens the power of the spirit the might of the spirit john chapter 3 verse 1 nicodemus comes to jesus by night and then he says rabbi we know that thou art a man sent from god for no man here it is no man can do these things except god 
be with him except God be with him no man can become fulfilled in one year except God be with him no man can defy all of these things except God be with him your results are ordinary although you look like you are filled with the Holy Spirit although you are praying in tongues but you have not come into the eternal consciousness of your oneness with him two people becoming one here's a statement that is made during marriage and it was God himself that made that statement therefore what God has joined let no man put that means only God can put us under what God has joined who joined you and the Holy Spirit please help me so the principle is still applicable what God has joined that partnership with the Holy Spirit no man should be able to put asunder no charm should be able to put asunder no limitation should be able to put asunder because it was joined by God it's not an opinion of man your background notwithstanding when he supplies you power when he supplies you grace you activate possibilities in your life that cannot be done by a normal human being when he does something to your brain you will now see that four points five points is not something you should sit down and dream about it is a possibility that can happen when he anoints your hands then you now know that your hands may look ordinary but you can shake somebody and change his life forever when he anoints your words then you will know that speaking is not just about grammar there is a life that flows through it and produces results i know the smartest communicators around and they are unable to do much for the kingdom it takes more than speaking good english to drag people it takes an ability he's working in me he's working in me it's god's ability it's god's ability it's working in me it's working in me no matter how frail i look god's ability it's god's ability it's working in me it's working in me it's God's ability. It's God's ability. It's what we need. That's what the ability of God can do. It's the ability of God that has put us in over 45 nations of the world. Not been there, never been on TV. It's an ability of the Spirit. Is the ability of the spirit that has brought his breath upon our teachings that are changing people around the world is the ability of the spirit the miracles and the signs and the wonders the ability the crowds that you see gathered here there is no man walk around this city you are not going to see one coin on your poster the one billboard that was put was taken away it's making it's, it's made no difference because you see brothers and sisters there is a force it's called an akazo. It's a compelling power. The power of the spirit that compels men into the will of God. That's the ability that will come upon you and drag destiny helpers to your life as if you are charming them. Yes. Yes. This is what God has done. Over 80% of the people who bless this ministry, I don't know them. I have never seen them with my eyes. I don't know how they got the ministry account details. Over 50% of, what am I saying? 50% of the people that bless me, I don't know them. I've never seen them. I don't know how they got my details. It's God's ability. When his power is upon your life, he will shock you. Shock you. They may see ordinary you. Ordinary you. But then there is an ability of the spirit 
he said there is this treasure listen carefully in earthen vessels that the excellency of power might be of God the ability of the spirit working in us Acts chapter 19 please quickly I want us to find somewhere and begin to pray now Acts chapter 19 we are reading 11 down to 20 but we'll jump some verses Acts chapter 19 let's see what happened to a man when the power of the Holy Spirit was upon him it says and God who wrote the miracles please help me who wrote the miracles but who did the sick people see the sick people saw who Paul but who was doing the miracles in koinonia who is doing the miracles but the one you can see is joshua selman so you say wow this guy is powerful you are not wrong except for the fact that when you come to me i will redefine it and tell you it's true joshua selman is powerful but in christ and god wrought special miracles through the hands of paul so that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs and aprons and the disease departed from them and the evil spirits went out of them are we together then talks about the sons of skiva and what happened to them let's go to verse 16. it says and the man in whom the evil spirit was left on them and overcame them and prevailed over them do you know why because they thought it was just about talking be healed be healed when you see a man ministering by the spirit it looks so easy you can think it's so easy till you try it that's what these guys did no partnership with the holy spirit and they wanted god's result and the demoniac pounced on them 17 we're reading down to 20 and this was known to all the jews and greeks also dwelling in ephesus and fear fell on them all and the name of the lord jesus was magnified and many that believed came look at this look at what the power of the holy spirit was doing and confessed and showed their deeds 19 and many of them which use curious acts mantras and scientific books books that they use with divination those things became obsolete brought their books together and burned them before all men and they counted the price of them and found it 50,000 pieces of silver brothers and sisters 50,000 anything is money are we together mm. 20 so mightily grew the word and prevailed so mightily grew how by the results that were communicated it takes power to produce the result that dumbfound men listen you can criticize but you cannot withdraw power no you can't withdraw it from careers of it this thing comes upon you and is upon you and it remains for as long as you keep working with god it will only keep multiplying i wish i had time i would have shared with you i've not even touched so much of the things that i want to share but um we'll find somewhere to stop tonight no notable achievement in life is ever done by a man alone it is always done by a man and a spirit either a demonic spirit or the spirit of the living god there is no man in his ability please hear me brothers and sisters no matter how sophisticated you are there is a limit to your ability so he empowers you and I'll tell you why he empowers you. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. When you begin to read from verse 5. Jesus was talking to them. And then they told him, they said, Will you at this time restore the nation of Israel? And he said, It is not for you to know the times and the seasons that the Father has put in his care. Then verse 8 says, But ye shall receive power. After that the Holy Ghost is come upon you and ye shall be what one more time one more time a witness is one who validates the claims of another are we together a witness is one who proves that the person testifying is not lying there are many things that god has said in his word and satan is saying is a lie so he empowers you to be a witness so they see a young man a young woman grace upon your life 
he has said i will restore the years that the canker worm has eaten the palma worm has eaten and satan says it's a lie it can't happen so god says let me use somebody as a specimen he finds someone that is 10 years backward and then he tells creation watch me now and in five months he turns that person to a wonder you know how you prove a mathematical equation and you write qed not open to debate anymore i've proven it i've said it and i've done it that's what god is about to do with someone's life there are many statements that god has said but satan is saying it's a lie watch what happens to you when his power comes upon your life listen the power of the spirit does not throw people down the throwing people down is just the impact of his presence the power of the spirit lifts people to unimaginable realms unimaginable dimensions unimaginable dimensions let's look at two scriptures i saw a scripture that really 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 blessed me and i thought that we'll just look at it second second corinthians chapter 6 and verse 1 it says we then as what workers together with you like you are talking to a workforce there are times that we have the workforce meeting here in the ministry and it's just exclusive for workers so god is talking here he said we then as workers together with him say i'm a worker together with him say it again i'm a worker together with him when you are a worker with him then you will produce extraordinary results you will produce unusual results this thing i'm teaching you has no respect for gender some of you are sitting looking at me and saying can god do anything with me ah. the god of heaven that i know can turn your life around in ways that you will not imagine read from genesis to revelation he met ordinary people turned them around ordinary people turned them around ordinary jesus turned him around ordinary peter turned him around stammerer moses turned him around young fearful joshua turned him around weak feminist deborah turned her into a warrior he will not suffer my food to be moved i carry your presence everywhere who am i your mind is so full of me Awesome God, I'm just a mortal man. And you are the awesome God, awesome man. I'm just a mortal man. Awesome God. In a few minutes now, we are going to begin to pray, and you will watch him once again in action, doing wonders, changing lives in split seconds disease is dissolving watch this in split seconds deliverance is happening in split seconds impartations happening brothers and sisters a man cannot bless you like that oh learn this no but he will not suffer my food to me for i carry his presence everywhere who am I? Your mind is so full of me. Mortal man, awesome I'm just a mortal man. But you are the awesome God. I'm just a mortal man, awesome God. Listen, say in the name of Jesus, from today, I walk in the consciousness of the leadership of the holy spirit i submit to the leadership of the holy spirit i submit to his anointing i will never try to do anything without his anointing without his empowerment without the unction of the spirit together with the holy spirit my life becomes 
an awesome wonder. That's right. That's right. I know some of you think I'm just talking. Help that lady under the anointing there, please. I know some of you think I'm just speaking and making noise. No, sir. We are not teaching you cunningly devised fables. That which we have seen. That which we have heard. That which our hands have handled. This is what we bring. The sickness in your body can leave because he is here. You see that? The disease in your life and all these things can leave because he is here. The oppression in your life, the retrogression, the mountain that stands before you, you have been staring at it for years. Can you shift back and let your senior partner stare that mountain for you and watch the way he will dissolve it? You're, you're calling it a mountain is relative to your perception. Step back and let the creator of the heavens and the earth, the one who the mountains keep like lambs before him. Hallelujah. Let's end with this scripture. Daniel 11, verse 32. I have to stop here so we'll pray. Daniel 11 and such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by flatteries he says but the people that do know their God not their neighbor's God but the people that do know their God the first thing that should happen to them is capacity in the spirit and the second thing that happens to them is that they are graced to do exploits listen brothers and sisters this thing is not by might Zechariah chapter 4 give it to us please and verse 6 it is not by might it is not by power it's by the spirit the empowerment of the spirit when you walk with the Holy Spirit he empowers you to represent him when you walk with the Holy Spirit he takes away fear from you your life no longer becomes a thing of fear this fear all around is a product of our thinking that all the results will come from us the bible says then he answered and spake unto me this is the word of the lord unto zerubbabel unto joshua selman unto koinonia saying not by might you won't build that house by might you won't build it by power no your CGPA will not change by might not by power reducing your prayer time will not change it throwing away your good friends will not change it it is by the spirit the next time people ask you how was this result by the spirit by the spirit by the spirit koinonia by the spirit his wisdom upon us by the spirit leadership by the spirit the miracles tonight by the spirit the impartation by the spirit i have learned to walk with him i have learned to walk with him i have learned to walk closely with him he promised me listen the holy spirit never promised me money the holy spirit never promised me fame listen carefully the holy spirit never promised me title the holy spirit never promised me good clothes the Holy Spirit never promised me crowds. The Holy Spirit never promised me ministry. But he promised to be a representation of the presence of God. And to empower me continually. The only thing he promised me is still what he is keeping. Because every other thing, the highest value a man can have on earth is to be anointed. The highest value you can possess on earth is to sustain an ability to provide solutions that are supernatural. Hmm. Yeah. Where your word becomes his word. The Holy Spirit has possessed me like a demon literally every part of me
every part of me when I speak is his voice when I bless is his authority when I command it is his authority speaking it is based on this consciousness that we can gather people and say come bring your pain bring your burdens bring it there are people here sick there are people here saying apostle can my life change keep watching you are about to watch the biggest drama in your life how fast situations can change because of him man of god you need him businessman businesswoman you need him you don't need bottles of minerals you don't need a bigger container you need him and his wisdom are we together now i said it last week the key to walking with him is communion fellowship fellowship whatever you bring to the stage of life is the product of your secret place with him you're not going to stand here and fake relationship with him no sir no sir many people do it and disgrace themselves whatever you bring to the stage of life is an effulgence of your secret place so when i stand here when i'm preparing to go for koinonia i imagine him just waiting happily i know he's here but he's also with me and as i enter while i'm coming those who come usually a protocol person follows me and as soon as we take this turn and i see people they just see me smiling they don't know why i'm smiling when i come here and i sit down here i'm just watching people and watching the testimonies in my mind i look around and sometimes the lord keeps showing me the visions of people's issues and then i am overjoyed you see me waiting i can't wait for worship team to finish singing do you know why because i want him to speak to you when he holds this mic through my hands and he speaks to you through my voice and commands situations and circumstances then you will watch them melt away ah. you are amazing you are amazing Hello. 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 you are amazing walk some of you as you are going you will see phone calls that should not enter listen every time you see anything unusual smile back to him and say my partner at work at work shalabakotaya my partner at work you go back to that ministry fire on the altar my partner at work you are lying down and sleeping and a dream comes with a powerful idea my partner working while i'm sleeping somebody calls you and says sorry i i used to walk against you but now i repent someone at the backside has been compelling him are we are we together do you believe all that i've shared or are you just excited i can't speak hausa the holy spirit does not speak english I can't speak Yoruba. I can't speak this. No. No. Apostle, I am so weak. I am, I am like a non-entity. No problem. You are the exact candidate for partnership with him. So that at the end of it, the excellency of power may be of God and not of you. Rise up on your feet. Let's stop here. I want you to lift your voice in one minute and cry passionately and say Holy Spirit more than ever before 
more than ever before i want to walk with you lift your voice and pray change our lives anoint us anoint me anoint me empower my destiny anoint me that's your prayer tonight anoint me fresh anointing fresh fire I want to walk with you I want to walk with you doing wonders with you changing lives with you transforming destinies with you Transforming destinies. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, I worship you. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, I worship you. 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 But thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of my head, regardless of what it has been in my life. But thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me, my glory. And the lifter up of my head Hello, give Madonna yeah. Hello, give Madonna Listen, there is a fresh impartation that is coming upon your life 
an impartation is a transference of unction is a transference of possibilities so that what was not in your life all of a sudden is activated in your life what you have no business seeing in your life steps into your life and you begin to walk in those dimensions <laughs> hallelujah 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 please lift your hands we're going to be fast tonight tonight's session is an impartation please i want you to believe it i don't know how else to convince you there are things graces and dimensions that we need in our lives but we cannot access in ourselves but if we believe them if we believe them if we believe them we will see it hallelujah the first impartation god is releasing tonight and i want you to bring those people out there is a strange grace i see for speed and the lord is saying i should stretch my hands it's a dimension of the spirit is a year of triumph god is bringing speed right now i stretch my hands let it be now inside and outside speed 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 chapo sabari kata inside outside everywhere speed like fire is coming on your chest it's coming on people's chest I don't know why, but it's coming on people's chest. A strange mantle, grace for speed. An impartation of the anointing for speed. It's by the spirit. It's by the spirit. hallelujah hallelujah i'm seeing 27 people climbing ladders in the spirit let it be now let it be now now the anointing of the spirit is locating those people it's a new dimension i'm seeing ascendance in the spirit people rising that's what i'm seeing rising climb that ladder is happening to you there is an energy of the spirit that is taking men to this dimension 27 people inside outside i'm seeing it happen by the spirit men rising to new levels of possibilities we may not have space to bring everybody out but we'll just guide them somewhere rising 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 from one dimension one dimension one dimension I want you to lift your hands up lift your hands up my hands are shaking and the Lord is telling me that he wants to do an impartation of the healing anointing now listen the healing anointing right now in the name of Jesus it will come on your hands it will come on your hands it will come on your hands take it now take it now Take it now. The ministry of healing. Not just an emotional ministry. A real dimension. Laying hands on the sick. By the influence of the Holy Ghost. And watching dramatic miracles. 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 I'm under the shadow of your wings Your influence is all over me I'm under the shadow of your wings 
Your influence is all over me. Yeah. shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over me. I'm under the shadow of your wings. There are people here praying, Lord, prove to me that I'm called into the ministry. The Lord is saying an anointing is coming on you now. As a proof, as I'm speaking, you may not even know but that grace, that grace, that grace is a sign. It's a sign. It's a sign. It's a token. Right now, right now, it's coming on people. A sign. A token. A sign. A token. Many ladies, many ladies are experiencing this sign. A sign. A sign of his hand upon your life he's giving you a sign beyond any shadow of doubt i'm hearing in my spirit the spirit of wisdom the spirit of wisdom the spirit of wisdom the lord is asking me to count four one two three four take it now let it be yours strength wisdom i'm seeing mantles falling mantles falling strength wisdom coming from heaven strength wisdom coming from heaven Receive it right now. Supernatural wisdom. Supernatural wisdom. Supernatural wisdom. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me somebody who used to have dreams and everything you see will come to pass. But he stopped right now i'm seeing a grace for restoration coming upon you right now in the name of jesus it's not a general prophecy there are exact people that this is happening to a restoration a restoration a restoration a restoration a restoration hallelujah there is a grace i feel like praying for students there is a grace for academic excellence listen it doesn't just happen believe me it's not just about what you learn there is a grace there is a, an exact grace for this lord i pray right now in the name that is above all names i stretch my hands to your people as many oh god as will please you let this baptism of this unction for extraordinary understanding let it come upon them right now at the count of three receive it now one two three take it now please help them receive that grace right now it's coming upon you extraordinary intelligence capacity to assimilate Capacity to understand. Capacity to understand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That fair lady that shared her testimony, lift your hands. I see an angel pouring something like fire on your head. Father, in the name of Jesus, let us step into a level of extraordinary intelligence. I don't know you, but I release that grace upon you. From today, you a strange dimension of grace and intelligence. In the name of Jesus, receive it right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Receive it right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit.
there is a grace for entrepreneurship creativity witty inventions in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing at least 43 people right now in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands let it come on them oh God believe it let it come on them oh God let it come on them oh God in the name of Jesus let it come on them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let it come on them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands now. 43. I'm seeing a number 43. Strange ideas coming on your spirit now. Strange ideas. Creative ideas. Strange ideas. Creative ideas. Receive it right now. I want to pray for those in ministry. There is always an unction for the next dimension. I don't know where you are, but you're going to begin to feel fire from your feet, rising upwards. That's the instruction God is giving me. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I'm praying right now. Fresh fire, fresh mantle. Let it begin to arise now. You are in ministry in this place. Begin to receive it right now. In the name of Jesus, receive it right now. In the name of Jesus, receive it right now. Those in ministry, help them. Shepard, Otoso, Koto, Baria. Lekete, Koto, Sopresh, Kalabariata. Jabrate, Soso, Besho, Koto. Strange fire. I see strange fire rising from the feet. Right on top, from the feet. Rise on top, from the feet. Please help them. In the name of Jesus. Can you carry the child so that he doesn't? In the name of Jesus. Strange fire. Revival fire, supernatural unction, supernatural unction, supernatural unction, supernatural unction. Hallelujah. The Lord is ministering to me about a group of people here that He wants to bring into intimacy with Him. There is a dimension of intimacy. It will surprise you. You will start finding out that you are going alone to go and sit in a place. The Holy Spirit wants to reintroduce himself to certain people. Lord, where are they? Where are they? Find them. Find them tonight. Find rest in them. Where are these men and women? Where are these men and women that you want to introduce yourself to? Shake it, take it, take it. Beyond church. Beyond church. Beyond church. Arado Supragadiza la Curiata. Hallelujah. Ah! I'm seeing people here who will be burning for days like fire literal physical fire that will not stop you will go with it you will wake up with it it will continue there is an energizing of the spirit that is happening to people an energizing of the spirit happening to people is a fresh fire it's a fresh fire hallelujah If you came with anything that is a point of contact whether a document a certificate whatever it is that is a point of contact whether you are inside or outside anything you can use I want you to lift it up So many things are happening to people in the realm of the spirit. There's someone at the media stand. The Lord is lifting that person to the next level. I'm seeing someone in a vision down at the media stand. Stepping up. Let them enter, oh God. Right now, let them enter into that realm, that dimension. Somebody at the media stand. The Lord is it's like an initiation into a dimension. Into a dimension.
hallelujah acts chapter 19 says handkerchiefs and aprons handkerchiefs and aprons i've explained to you the mystery behind these results no man can speak over your life and you just have results like that it, it doesn't happen that way i'm about to speak over your points of contact if you don't have anything you are the point of contact yourself are we together many of you will be surprised believe me believe me many of you will be surprised at the dramatic things that will happen we are talking about the holy spirit here we are not just talking about an anointed man we are talking about the holy spirit his anointing like a cloud comes to mantle certain aspects of your life and you see grace speaking for you grace speaking for you lift it up you can lift your hands ready to speak now in the name that is above all names I prophesy upon every point of contact you are using now let a grace the power of performance that makes things to work I release it right now upon that instrument I release it upon your documents. I release it upon your pictures. I release it upon your certificates. I release it upon your proposals. Hear me. Whatever you are agreeing for as a point of contact, I give life to it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit a dimension of results you have never seen begin to see it now I speak to every CGPA that is down here hear my voice I speak as one sent by the Lord I command you to arise now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ there are people who are supposed to graduate but as it is now it looks like they may not graduate I change it now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I decree and declare where your helpers have passed you and ignored you I put an anointing on you that will compel them to bless you I put an anointing on you that will compel them to bless you listen everything that used to flow in your life and stopped mysteriously i opened the door for it to continue everyone here in business any kind of godly business i stretch my hands enter a level of rest now believe what i'm praying for you I bring you into a dimension of rest now every troubled family here all kinds of troubles from lack of finances to trouble to fight to quarrel in the name of Jesus I introduce an anointing to that family and I command let there be peace right now 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 every troubled family let there be peace right now there are people here who need divine direction as a matter of urgency i speak to you hear his voice and hear it clear hear his voice and hear it clear 
hear his voice and hear it clear in the name of jesus christ in dreams and visions may his will be made known to you in the name of jesus christ i command every manifestation of the spirit of fear fear of the unknown fear of the future uncertainties around your life that is making you do foolish things i command right now fear go in the name of jesus 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 every veil of disfavor that is around your life that makes things to work for others until it gets to your turn and then mysteriously when the breakthrough is almost coming you never see it i decree and declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, I command that captivity to end now. I command that captivity to end now. Hear me. Everyone called jobless here. I stand in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. I decree and declare. May your miracle job find you. Believe what you are hearing. May your miracle job find you. In the name of Jesus. Now I pray for anyone here having any infirmity. I don't care what it is. I don't care how long. Any stranger in your body. A lady is going to shout now under the anointing. And then the power of God for healing will touch people. In the name of Jesus, I command be healed now. Say amen. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Every blood disease be healed now. Ulcers be healed now. Migraines be healed now. Every kind of abnormal condition in your body be healed now. Growths and lumps around the body, whether breast lumps, all kinds of lumps, I command that they disappear right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your family. In the name of Jesus, between now and the next seven days, may you hear strange testimonies from hope. Please believe me. I say it again between now and the next seven days I stand in the name of the Lord God of heaven and I command in the next seven days unusual testimonies unusual testimonies unusual testimonies unusual testimonies unusual testimonies it doesn't take time it takes his anointing everything that your hands have done and it did not work i stretch my hands to yours and i command from today become a proof producer i command today become a result producer Become a result producer. Become a proof producer. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. Every pending issue over your life. Every pending issue. Any kind of pending issue. Right now. Issues that have been hanging in the realm of the spirit. And will not be resolved. 
I decree and declare let an end come to those issues now let an end come to those issues now let an end come to those issues now every family here that has experienced delay as a family not an individual alone shake it here there is unction upon me the hand of god is upon me in the name of jesus i decree and declare the lord is asking me to push families forward i push you forward now by the mystery of prophecy i push you forward now i push you forward now hear me in the name of jesus christ whoever must show up in your life and lift you and lift your mother and lift your father and wipe your tears in the name of jesus i stand by the god of heaven whose i am and i decree and declare that between now and the next two weeks strange encounters strange encounters strange encounters with the gift of man strange encounters strange encounters mysterious coincidences that will lead to your breakthrough everything that has died in your hands and in your life hear the word of the lord i command it to come back to life now believe in the lord your god believe in the lord your god believe in the lord your god sister believe in the lord your god my brother believe in the lord your god concerning your admission believe in the lord your god concerning the baby i know it's five years but believe in the lord your god believe concerning god turning your life around you need more than a job you need breakthrough you need favor if you get a job of 50,000, you are still backward because you should have been working for the past 10 years. So now the issue is not just a job of 50 or 100,000. That God, can you shift my, what would have been the backlog of the past, shift my 10 years to enter my September and wait for me there. That I can enter September and I'll, I, it will look as if September is 10 years put together. One of the greatest ways breakthrough comes is the manipulation of time. Read your Bible and see what God did with time when it was time to visit people. He made the sun to stand still. He made the sun to go backward. Are we together? He did something to time. When you lose time, you have lost everything. Believe in the Lord your God. Number two. Please, let's go back to um, Second Chronicles. He said, believe in his prophets. Listen carefully. His prophets here doesn't just mean someone that prophesies. His prophets here doesn't even mean someone who is not fake. That means someone who is real. That's not what he's talking about. He said, believe his prophets. So shall ye prosper. To prosper means to do well. He says, believe his prophets. His prophets are not just people who prophesy. His prophets are not just real men of God. <clears throat> Listen carefully. This is where we miss it. You must learn this. His prophets here are not just men who are doing the biddings of God. It has nothing to do with maybe someone being real. His prophets here means the person sent to you listen listen the bible um come sam come darling look at this i'm elijah and i'm going to the house of a widow of zarephath are we together 
don't you think on my way going i'm going to meet other people who have problems so I meet a gentleman who has a problem and I just greet him. How are you? Where is the house of the widow of Zarephath? He's shaking me but doesn't receive anything because I'm not sent to him. I'm a prophet. I probably met other widows. Elijah probably met other widows lamenting and he said, Oh dear, you mean it? You mean this how your life is? Sorry, eh? And he kept going. The same way Jesus saw 10 lepers. The same way Jesus would see people and touch one and stand up and go there is a man sent to you there is an anointing sent to you listen i know that many people will not like me for what i'm telling you not every anointing can bless you generally speaking by opening your heart i mean at the anointing a portion to change your destiny it's true hear what i'm telling you and then god will bless you There is an anointing, a portion. There is a grace designated. Let me tell you, happy are you the day you come into the environment where the anointing that was sent for you. Do you know, let me tell you this, and I tell you this honestly, my heart is passionate when it has to do with blessing people. But I have met people in my life that I just prayed for them just for praying sake. But I knew in my spirit, I wasn't sent to them. Of course, you won't tell them so they don't feel bad. But you know. But I've seen others. I couldn't even wait for them to share their challenges because I know. I know. The anointing sent to you. So believe his prophets. Are we together? There were many widows in Zarephath. Elijah was looking for just one. Have a prophet. What of other women? Mm -mm. I love them. I can pray. I can intercede. May God bless you. Do A, B, and C. But I'm looking for a woman of Zarephath. Where is she? Finally, you find her. And his clash is not even ready for you. She's doing something else. The prophet would have been angry to say, I spent time to come here. You don't even know what you are missing. I'm on my way going. But because he was sent, he had to stay. His assignment was to change her life. When you find the anointing and the prophet that God has sent over your life and your situation, let me tell you, you will watch that anointing rubbish your situation in the, as if Satan does not exist. It's, it's not just, this is where we have a little challenge with many believers who just say, the most important thing is God. Yes, you are right, but you are wrong. The most anointing is anointing. What is there? What is so special about this man of God? This is what I'm teaching you now. People are sent to people. Even the word of God is sent. He sent his word like a messenger. Meaning until that word is sent, you can stay there. But when the word comes, like a messenger, angel Gabriel left other believers around earth and was directed to one person, Daniel. All that fight for 21 days in the heavenlies. He would have been angry to say, I'm going to someone else. Mm -mm. He said, Daniel, I am come to give you understanding. Are you the only one? I am come to give you understanding. Jesus is appearing by the road. Saul is on his way to Damascus. Brothers and sisters, the Bible says there were other people with Saul. God would have been fair enough to at least give them something. And then he isolates one person and discusses with the person. The rest just fall down and don't even know what threw them down. They just got up to clean themselves and say, Kai, now what is all this one now? Whereas one person has that encounter. Sent, sent, sent the word that changes my life. Sent. I have had encounters with sent words and sent prophets, and my God, did my life change. Tonight, let me tell you if you can believe this, he said, believe his prophets. I know you are a businessman, I know you are educated. I know you are smart 
But there are many equations in this life that cannot be solved with pen and paper. They are solved from the realm of the spirit. It's only the result you receive here. Are we together now? Believe in his prophets, so shall you prosper. Write this down, please. His prophet here is the vessel sent from him to you. You must first acknowledge that this vessel is sent from God to you. And one of the ways that you can help yourself to believe the prophet God has sent to you is investigate the dealings of God with that man. Don't just believe for nothing. You have a right to investigate the dealings of God with that man. What is so special about this man? Why should I believe him? Why should I take the word that he's bringing seriously? Every true prophet of God has a track record of his dealings with God. Investigate the dealings of God. Study the track records of his results. I think it's unfair if you just yoke people to believe you just like that. No. Give them room to study the track records of your result and find out whether the results are worth your believing. How do you believe his prophets? Open up your spirit to receive both his grace and his instructions. Don't just receive the grace alone. Instructions. Many times believers miss it because we miss instructions. Very subtle instructions. Sometimes very ego stinging instructions. Like you were seated here now and then I just said everybody shout Jesus. You know, I don't mean to embarrass your intelligence. You don't sit on a seat and shout Jesus. You've been singing a song before you came here. You, there was Jesus more than 10 times in that song. You kept shouting Jesus, Jesus, lover of my soul. And nothing happened. And here you are sitting and a man is saying just shout Jesus once. If you don't have this revelation, you can sit down and say, please, what is, we are not children here. What is all this nonsense? He told Naaman, go to Jordan. Watch seven times. J Naaman said, Me, Jordan, there are clean rivers somewhere. And the small girl said, You are the one in trouble. If you don't go and wash, you can go back with your lepros. Two scriptures, and then we'll pray. Exodus chapter 14 and verse 31. and Israel saw the great work which the Lord did upon the Egyptians it says and the people feared the Lord and believed the Lord and also what his servant Moses God performs mighty things and creates that track record not just so that he alone will be believed God also wants the vessel he's using to be believed. The Bible says they feared the Lord. They believed the Lord and they believed his servant. They believed the Lord and they believed his servant. You believe the Lord, you don't believe his servant, you may not get any miracle. Exodus chapter 19 and verse 9. Exodus chapter 19 and verse 9. And the Lord said unto Moses, look up please. Lo, I come unto thee in a thick cloud, that the people may hear when I speak with thee, and believe thee forever. That means, I can talk to you without the cloud, but I keep that cloud as that evidence so that the people can trust that it is me you are talking to. I'm, I'm going that far because I don't just want the people to believe me alone. I want them to believe you too because their receiving is dependent on their, both their believing me, God, and their believing you, his servant. He says, and the Lord said, I come in a thick cloud. 
so sometimes when god does some of these signs and wonders is is not really just for him alone when god does some of these things oh there's a lady here and someone is shouting another you know what god is doing he's using those things it's, it's a similitude of the cloud to help you see you can call somebody and say who is grace or who is um, victory and you can say this is just guessing i'm sure it's just guessing but how do you guess that someone in this direction do you guess that one god does some of these things sometimes purposely to just address the the leftover of unbelief because you see some of us are coming from different christian experiences some of us have been our minds have been messed up by all kinds of theology all kinds of philosophies some of us have had bad experiences with all kinds of men of god prophets and whatever and chances are that when you come like this usually you will just add the man of god to the list of all the people and hope that he's just a better version of them and god says not so and he uses these signs to speak to you that you are in mount zion are we together it's amazing how a little miracle can just readjust your own belief immediately readjust your own belief while the devil is trying to lie to you can your life be changed all of a sudden the the power will touch the person near you this somebody you shook hands with turn to your neighbor and say this and that so you know that the person uh, the person can be acting It's a very difficult thing for believers to believe God. But I think it's even harder to believe a man of God. And people have all kinds of justifications as to why they shouldn't believe men of God. But regardless of what your justifications are, if you believe God and don't believe the vessel, you will be established but you will not prosper. Are we together? Your prosperity is what gives evidence to your establishment. You must believe one word from God can turn your life around one prophetic word can turn your life around all these strange spirits that oppress people they don't just go because they are told to go no it takes the anointing I was talking with one of the protocol uh, people when we were coming down here and I told him I was shaking my head and then I was talking to him and I said I am amazed driving down to come for the miracle service now i said i am amazed at how people in africa and nigeria trivialize success i am shocked at how people um believe that success is about luck it's amazing how people can see a huge sacrifice and trivialize it and just make it look like i think these people are just fortunate is that true I, I, this were my contemplations while i was coming listen there's no result that happens in this kingdom by mistake now including the testimony you are about to have that gentleman from ghana he did not just press this thing and found my name no 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 the anointing that is sent with that word works day or night are we together now there are many testimonies just like his that gentleman you see that now someone will tell you i was sitting and i had a dream how about those who buy new phones brand new phones brand new phones and then they open it and see koinonia messages inside how do you explain that A new phone not new uh, what they call that thing not new memory card I'm not talking about new memory card a new phone that you bought it tear rubber you are the one who opened it then the first thing you see inside is a message that answers your question who, who now who, how do you explain that listen listen we live in a world that is not natural it only manifests the spiritual naturally the, the 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 earlier you got this the better my brothers and my sisters hear me all that you see in this world is only a reflection say reflection the real control room in this our world 
is the realm of the spirit whoever can ascend this three-dimensional realm has the advantage of victory nothing happens that is physical are we together one of the reasons why many of us are seated here tonight among the many miracles we desire is finance oh nigerians finance you want to talk a good news to any honest nigerian right now in this day and age as we transit into the ember month no matter speak about their spiritual life yes speak about their love for god passion new depths but please don't ignore that other one just even if it's in passing just say something about it finance many people want to see financial breakthrough many people are working and they are trusting god for breakthrough and remember the strange thing about finance do you know why listen i'm not talking about money we're going to pray shortly do you know why many believers are poor because in the kingdom finance is warfare money is not just an instrument to live well it's a weapon see listen oh dear what's it ecclesiastes 7 let me just talk a little you was uh I, I didn't plan to say this but ecclesiastes 7 verse 12 let me show you something may god give somebody deliverance right now read it read it one to read for wisdom is a defense uh-huh and money is a defense just stop there so we know from the word that both wisdom and money is a defense now look up when the bible says you have a weapon what is a weapon something you use to both defend yourself and you can use also for attack is that true if you give me a weapon like a shield i use it for defense and the bible says one of the many weapons money is one of them and the bible says those weapons are not carnal the word not carnal means they are not man-made but my brother my sister this thing is man-made it was made by cbn that means this is not what god is talking about because this is man-made but the bible says this weapon that he calls money is not carnal he said it is mighty through god that means there is a spirit are you getting what i'm saying that means this thing is only the body the same way human being is called currency anything that moves is a living thing and that means there is a spirit inside the body to move it you are only seeing the body where is the spirit that moves it that's why it can enter a house you didn't ask it to go and it will go out by itself it can enter your account and still go out because it's warfare the bible says, believe is prophet there is something they can do that can do something to the many things including this this is what we chase all around because we think this is paper no this is not this is paper yes but there is a spirit behind it and this thing respects that spirit this is what you need to understand so the spirit can instruct it to leave you and it can leave no matter how hard working you are you can receive salary and all you have is part of this left and it can be instructed to leave you it will, you know it's going it's going out of your life it just touches your hand and disappears because the weapons prosperity is warfare it's not just about money to buy car and houses money is a defense it can defend the gospel it can defend a man and the bible says all those weapons they are not carnal so if you ever see this looking for anybody naira does not look for men something makes it come I, please are you getting what i'm saying if you can understand this alone at least even if you don't know how it comes you already know that it doesn't come by itself these are the mysteries that surround our kingdom you ever see anybody prosperous in the kingdom
my brothers and my sisters listen to me this is a spiritual realm you don't have to be a christian to believe it you just have to be alive this is a spiritual realm animals know it plants know it's a spiritual realm that's why you throw a seed in the ground and you cover it you don't leave it open you cover it because what happens there is none of your business now you just cover it and watch it happen and it grows to become a tree that you cannot push down a little seed when you planted it it had no roots the bible says just like you do not know the way of the wind nor how a woman how a child is formed in the womb of her that is with child you know and all of that so also you don't know the way of god the lord brought you here tonight because there are spiritual possibilities listen that are beyond the realm of the eyes are we together most times we believe only what we can see and understand and explain unfortunately in this kingdom there are things that you may not be able to explain when people come here to testify you see me sit quietly and i watch and many times i'm in shock as i watch the immutability of god's power in the lives of people the same way you are going to come up here to testify yes it's true what suddenly happens to you and then you have someone just call you and say we are sending you to us to get a job Hapa, my brothers and my sisters i've told you again and again that everybody who helps you has relatives too who i need whatever makes you to leave them and come to you is not normal that you are sitting and someone says i'm thinking of you who do you think you are no i want to help you i want to bless you you step into prepared blessings blessings that you are as sure he said master we have toiled all night and jesus looked at them you know how to fish by waiting in the night and allowing the fish to come and rest on your net then you quickly pull it in the morning that's how you were trained but let me show you another technology cast your net to the right side master but we only have left and right <clears throat> this one is not brain work now this one is not one plus one i told you one plus one plus god is equal to whatever he says the answer should be one plus one is two but one plus one plus God is not equal to two. It's not even equal to 10,000. It's equal to any answer that God puts there. So one plus one can be equal infinity. God said so. Are we together now? I'm saying this to build your faith tonight so that you will believe that God is able to do anything at all when you look at the way you got to hear about this ministry and the various ways the holy spirit worked with you till you came today you should know already that there is a god in heaven are we together now brothers and sisters i present to you this same god who can change your life who will change your life i'm saying this so that you don't just sit down and be clapping for others wow this is how god has changed this lady's life wow we are soon going to pray you must have a desperation and say lord i didn't come tonight to clap for anybody i left my journey wherever lord i know that you will visit me and i hold on to the horns of the altar while you are sitting the devil is telling you remember tomorrow by 12 your rent or embarrassment say satan go away and before the presence of god tomorrow is too far god can how many minutes does it take to do a transfer I believe him yes i do i believe him i believe him i believe him i believe he can change my life in one minute i want you to just mention everything you are trusting god to do tonight go ahead lord i believe you for this i believe you for that Those outside, whether you are standing by the wall, whether you are standing in any of the overflows, and those following online, release your faith. Don't be distracted. 
any spirit that distracts you in this moment now is of the devil it's a luciferian spirit let your spirit and let your attention be open yes lord i believe you mention it don't say it's too big that's the devil too big compared to what pray believers lord i know you are able you are able to take away this reproach from this family talk to jesus even if you find yourself crying just continue to speak lord you are able change this situation turn my academics around lord turn my finances around lord i'm in a situation right now where only you the god of heaven can arise turn my ministry around lord i'm confused i don't even know where to go right now i don't know whether to go to the left or to the right but i receive grace pray are you praying kill unbelief as you are praying don't let the devil tell you you are wasting your time god of heaven It says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and by supplication, with thanksgiving, it says, make your request known. Don't assume it is known. Make your request known. Lord, I'm here tonight because I want you to turn the situation of my family around. Lord, there is a death sentence over my family, and you have to arise for me tonight. Lord, there is a death sentence over my life. Lord, I've been delayed 10 years of my life. I am backward 10 years. There has to be a way you restore me, oh God. Lord, I'm trusting you for the fruit of the womb. The gentleman who came here seven children lost including twins lord i'm trusting you to refire my spiritual life something has happened to the anointing upon my life something has happened to the glory upon my destiny i'm here tonight oh god turn my life around turn my life around something has happened the signs and wonders are no more like before the revelation and the grace and the utterance is not like before i'm here for a turnaround oh god my prayer life has died i'm here for a reawakening i no longer fast i no longer pray i don't know what has happened to me i cry for help One more prayer point lord i believe you and i believe your servant i believe that anointing and i believe in its ability to turn my life around walk on any unbelief in my heart oh god and take it out tonight go ahead and pray every spirit of doubt every spirit of fear
Isaiah 61. I sense a very strong anointing here already. Isaiah 61. Please participate in everything we are doing. It's going to be a very fast one, but let your spirit be open. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because the Lord, the same Lord that you are instructed to believe, hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. Now listen, this is why he anointed me. Because there is an agenda. But that that agenda cannot be achieved just by a well-meaning heart. It takes more than sincerity to bind up a broken heart. To proclaim liberty. Now I like this one. To proclaim, to declare that the time has come for you to walk free. It says, and the opening of prison. My brothers and my sisters, there can be men physically walking, but they are in prison. Next verse. Verse 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all those who mourn. It takes more than a handkerchief to comfort men. It takes the anointing. Verse 3. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. Now this is the part I like. To give them beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. Hallelujah. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called trees or oaks of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified so the end of it is for god to be glorified but not in the current state no so anything in your family make sure you carry your family along in this miracle service don't just stand alone to receive I've told you if you are blessed and your family members are not blessed, you are not free. You are not free at all. If you are the only one who is alive and everybody is just dying like a chicken, you are still not free. Are we together now? Thank you, Jesus Christ. Let me give us one last prayer point. Father, every desire I brought here tonight, I'm not walking back with it. Lift your voice and pray. Every. Let your faith rise as you pray. Shalakata barakato. Talato shabraha sikete malakata. Shakata kata barakata barateke barakush. Every desire. Visit me, O oh God, completely. The God who touches my spiritual life can touch my finances too. The God who touches my body can touch my womb too. Lord, I insist. I insist for completeness.
please lift your hands I will pray now now the people I'm going to ask to come out if the anointing comes upon your life right now then the Lord okay I want to pray a prayer now please be your brother's keeper whether you are inside or outside is because of what will happen when I pray the anointing will come and people will act out what I'm saying physically that's why I'm saying you should you should just hold them are we together now the Lord is asking me to release speed listen speed is a very powerful thing when that anointing comes you will start running like Elijah that's why I'm saying hold them right now I stretch my hands inside outside online and I declare spirit of the living God there are men and women here who have been delayed and speed must come upon them right now I declare at the count of three one two three receive that grace I command speed speed right now speed let the hand of God come upon you the Bible says the hand of the Lord was upon Elijah and he ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. I command speed, receive it. It's coming on you now. Some of you is coming on you for the sake of your family. It's not just you alone. It's coming on you for the sake of your family. Let the chains be broken. I release speed. Speed. In one month. In one month. I'm prophesying that in one month, what has not been done in five years in one month receive that grace i energize your spirit man speed when speed comes upon a family you will see it in the result when speed comes upon your spiritual life when speed comes upon your academics i'm praying again the angels that ride upon the chariots are bringing you speed. I release that grace. Let that anointing come upon you. Speed, speed, in the name of Jesus Christ. Speed. now now listen fire in the spirit has many significance fire this fire is a mystery it was a reality borrowed from the realm of the spirit that we use here fire does not run away from any element fire is the only thing that all other elements must fit whether you put metal the metal will be hot wood will be burnt rubber will be melted there is nothing that stands fire other things can stand water but not fire are we together now he said he shall baptize you with the holy ghost and with fire when the holy spirit listen is moving to break chains he moves as fire do you know why because fire destroys every other thing yet it is not destroyed it is not solid it is not liquid are we together it looks like gas but it's there you are seeing it you can't hold it you can't cage fire you can't lock it up it's not restrained by anything the holy ghost is going to move right now in this place as fire listen this fire i want you to bring those people out this fire you see will bring an end now believe me when i tell you this will bring an end to many captivities many captivities at the count of three i just want you to shout with me that word fire that word fire and many of you will be surprised in the name of jesus where sam there's a song in my spirit when we sing that song what's the name of that song blow 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 like a mighty wind 
Am I correct? So you know what I'm talking about. So you sing that song by the time we pray. In the name of Jesus, I'm stretching my hands right now. Spirit of the Lord, you seek to reveal yourself as fire. That consuming fire. No power and no spirit. Even spirits can be burnt by fire. In the name of Jesus, I declare that any operation that is not of God at the count of three by the mystery of the Holy Ghost as fire let there be deliverance let there be refining let there be the breaking of chains are you ready now one two three bring them out fire the mystery of fire I declare any chain if there is anyone under the sound of my voice and any chain has held your destiny by the mystery of this fire I'm speaking by this apostolic and prophetic grace I decree and declare to the heavens at the count of three may that fire locate chains in this place now one two three chains be broken chains be broken Spirit of victory, cover us with your wings. Sing below, blow, blow, blow like a mighty spirit of victory. Spirit of victory, cover us with your wings. Cover us with your wings. Hallelujah, Madam. Please clear the way for me. These women, tap these women for me. One, two, and the other person, three. Please come. Mama, I'm going to pray for you. You are welcome. Your first time here? I came here last week. Okay, you were here last week and you too. Um, is, this the, is this the mama I asked to come? I think it's someone else I saw, but when you are here, we'll honor you. But I want to pray for you. Madam, look at me. I'm seeing witchcraft in your life and your family. Where are you coming from? Mama? Where are you coming from? You are coming from Abuja. I want to pray for you. Hold my hands, ma. Look at me. I know you believe in the power of God. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bring to end every oppression of darkness. Mama, I decree and declare, in one month, your life will turn around into surprise you. In one month. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
Where is that man that came from my Duguri? The one who came to give a testimony. Mama, let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is saying I should tell you that the oppression is over. Look, I've seen fire. It's leaving my hands and it's coming upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, where is that man? We have to hurry up. There's, there's a lot to do. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, I decree and declare over your life. That fire. The Lord, it looks like you are an elderly woman, but the Lord is going to use you mightily. What you are receiving now is not just a miracle yet. You are receiving an impartation. You will begin to know the Holy Spirit in a very intimate way. Hold my hand. Spirit of the living God, you seek to use this dear mother. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will know the Holy Spirit in supernatural ways. His fire will come upon your life and he will use you in a very mighty way. In the name of Jesus, come. You are the man that came from Eduguri. What is this? My CV. Your CV. You are trusting God for a job. And who is this? Hold it. Do you believe that if I pray for you, you are returning with a job? You believe that? Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, I release the anointing upon you and I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, let there be that miracle. You go and return with your job, sir. Let me pray for you, man. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you and I declare that the oppression of darkness comes to an end. A complete end over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray right now, but let me just... Um, the Lord is showing me, oh dear, sometimes this time, time, time just affects you. But I'm praying right now, and I'm seeing letters, and I'm seeing on the letter, congratulations, listen, and I'm seeing that this is a symbolism of breakthrough. Listen, let me tell you, except God is not God, if this anointing that I'm seeing touches you, then you and your family must stand here and testify. I'm stretching my hands right now. Lord, you are showing me this. In the name of Jesus, this is a symbol of breakthrough. I stretch my hands. Every family and every person that must receive of this grace, I'm stretching my hands now. You must testify. I release upon you that grace you must testify. I declare whatever it will translate to, whether a job, whether increase, whether promotion, I command it, I declare it, I decree it. In the name of Jesus, I command it, I decree it, I declare it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hold the hands of this lady. This one. Hold the hands of this lady. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands right now and I declare it's time for your family to rise. I'm speaking it by the spirit of prophecy and I decree and declare every embargo that holds onto that family, I command that is gone now. In the name of Jesus, it is gone. I curse the power of witchcraft in the name of Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands towards me. Your hand is a symbol of your productivity. And there are many of you, there is no grace on the works of your hands. I look and in the spirit, I don't see the blessing of the Lord working. That's what is responsible for hardship. It's not like you are not employed or you are not doing this, but in the name of Jesus, I stand representing the Spirit of God and I stretch my hands back to you. 
I'm declaring still that ministry of fire. Many of you will be surprised. Whatever it is you are involved in, God is about to bring grace upon it. I stretch my hands right now at the count of three. May the fire of God come through your hands into your life. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, whatever has not been working in your life, I force it to work right now. Receive that anointing. I force it to work now. Inside, outside, I force it to work now. Those following online, I pray and I speak whatever it is that you are doing. I declare the blessing. I activate the blessing upon the work of your hand. I take away hardship from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I take away hardship from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yabone nakawo Sujata ne nakawo Sarkin salama Sarkin aljana Yabone nakawo the lord is opening the eyes of people into where your blessing is i'm seeing fire still this fire thing coming on the eyes of people physically you will feel fire burning and ideas the lord is birthing things is is a birthing in the spirit i release that grace right now in the name of jesus lord all those who must see show them oh god where their blessings are stationed so that they stop dilly-dallying around life i decree and declare receive that grace the grace of an open eye the grace of an open vision may the lord show you where the resources of your destiny is may the lord show you where your helpers are in the name of jesus christ Hallelujah. This, the prayer is for everybody, eh? But this particular prayer now is for ladies. The Lord is showing me destinies that must be changed. Outwardly, you are beautiful, you are good looking, you are virtuous, you are wonderful. But in the realm of the spirit, it's not what we are seeing physically that we are seeing in, this, in the realm of the spirit. A man with an ugly situation sat down at a gate called beautiful. The gate was beautiful, but the man's life was nonsense. There are many people you can stand. I'm, I'm saying everybody, but this is ex specifically for our sisters. And it's not just the issue of marriage. I'm not talking about marriage alone. That there is a fragrance, a presence that can ooze from you and bring favor to your life. But many of you physically, they look at you and you look like you are beautiful, you are this, you are that. But in the realm of the spirit, there are powers sitting on people's destiny. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands. I want to pray for you. That, that force, that veil must be torn. In the name of Jesus, ah, I'm seeing a strange grace that is coming on many people, especially our sisters. I declare any wrong identity that you are given in the realm of the spirit that is not a reflection of your true identity, any exchange that has been made in the realm of the spirit so that physically you should be blessed, but in the realm of the spirit you are carrying another person's destiny right now by the fire of the holy ghost sisters may that anointing come upon you now may that grace come upon you now i declare anyone's destiny here that has been changed and switched and manipulated in the realm of the spirit so that what you look like is not a reflection of what your destiny is i change it now in the name of jesus
I change it now in the name of Jesus. Listen. A man's destiny can be exchanged. It's true. Have you not read in the Bible where kings slaughtered their children to prolong their own lives? A man's destiny can be a shadow of something else. You know you are alive, but this is not your life. You know that you are living another person's script. I'm saying it again. In the name that is above all names. Sir, come. I don't know you, but I want to pray for you, sir. God is going to turn your life around. And you see this prayer that I'm saying generally, this prayer, sir, is for you. You are a shadow of your life. Of your Is your dad? Where did he come from? From High Diary. From High Diary. From High Diary. Daddy, I'm going to pray for you. This is not just about your leg. Huh? This is about your destiny. I want to pray for you. Hold my hands, sir. Father... In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare Shalos Kapra Hasegete Barandos Kabria Shata Ente Skalabra Hafas Kadabarakoto Supriata Kataj Mande Kreskoda Hashabari Katoskada Natoskada Natoskada Mashada Kata Empre Keteko Toko Toba Sadabalakata Shapres Ketekete Balakata Shapriata Kata In the name of Jesus, anyone who has exchanged your destiny, sir. I decree and declare a restoration now. You are the daughter, hold my hands. I pray for you. Look at me. You are a wonderful lady, huh? But bad things continue to happen in your life. Huh? You are a nice lady. Are you married? I'm married already. Don't worry. I know why I'm saying you get what I'm saying now. Yes, sir. Because what I'm seeing, this is a spirit. You are a nice lady, but people continue to misunderstand you. Yes, sir. Yes, Good sir. things, and people look at you. In the eye of many people now, you are, you are a devil, you are a terrible lady, yes, but it's sir. not true. Yes, you have a very beautiful heart. This is what happens when... Do you know that there are spirits that make sure you are misrepresented in the eyes of people? A ministry can be under this captivity. No matter... The Bible said, don't let your good evil spoken of. You can be nice to somebody like it's happening to many of you and people end up fighting you. You bought something for them and they end up you are saying what is this? I pray for you and the person says so you are trying to say I'm the one who is not spiritual. It's a spirit. My dear I want to pray for you. Eh? This thing is not just about your marriage that is you know things have gone wrong. You are a wonderful lady. Eh? Favor will come close to you but then never enter your life. Yes. What do you do? I'm working in a security. You are a security? Yes, sir. Did you go to school? Yes, sir. I'm running my master's. You are running your master's? Yes, sir. My dear, do you believe God can change your life yes, now? Yes, sir. I believe, sir. Hold my hands. To appoint unto them. You see that? To appoint... This one is a prophet's reward. It's not just that God is saying do this. There is something in the spirit called a prophet's reward. The possibilities that accompany an office, I declare in the name of the God of heaven whom I represent, may your life change this night in a way that will surprise you. Listen, I lift you from this security work you are doing and I put you in a position that befits your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Daddy, sir, I'm praying for your daughter in your presence. This lady will come here and give a testimony that even you as a father will say this one is the Lord's doing. Are we together now? I declare it, I decree it done right now. Hear me? I don't care whether you are working or not. If you are not in the rightful place as ordained by God, I want to pray a very serious prayer. Because there are people, the work you are doing is a nonsense work. That work is, it has robbed your spiritual life. It has destroyed your relationship. 
because of that work no man can see you to marry you demonic work that closes you everywhere i decree and declare i stand by this apostolic and prophetic grace if you are in a place that is not your assigned place of destiny i take you out of that place and i shift you to the place of destiny i shift i shift you in the spirit i shift you by prophecy in the name of jesus christ listen if the widow of Zarephath was not where the prophet met her that's how her miracle would have gone it matters that you are in the right place at the time god sends your miracle some of these things in the name of employment they are traps of the devil i'm not saying it's not good to work don't get me wrong but many of them are traps from the peace of hell there are people whose spiritual lives have gone down from heaven to earth simply in the name of job are we together nonsense job that on sunday you're on your way going to church your boss calls you and says you must come and resume what shall it profit a man if you gain the what is it is that the whole world how much is the salary lose your soul for peanuts i declare again in the name of jesus may my god relocate someone here by the power of the holy spirit may my god relocate a destiny relocate a family if you are not in your assigned place i shift you tonight in the name of jesus christ Do you know, listen, we are going to pray for the sick shortly. There are people that if the devil wants to destroy them, he will make sure they get visa. Ah, Pastor Jake, it's good to see you. There are people that if the devil wants to destroy them, they will get visa to UK. They think it's breakthrough, but they have gone away from their place of destiny. God spoke to Jonah, go to Nineveh. Jonah entered a boat on his way to Tarsus. And because of that wrong journey, people lost their properties. People lost. He entered a boat and made people to start destroying their lives. They were almost dying because a man was not in sync with seasons. Let me tell you this. It matters that God meets you at the place where your blessing is waiting for you. The devil can relocate people and, and destroy your life. There are many Nigerians outside this country whose destiny is ordained by God to be in this country. You see them roaming around like armed robbers around the world in the name of abroad. And there are others whose destinies are abroad and the devil will make sure that he will peg them somewhere. And Isaac sowed in that land. It's not just that he sowed. The place he sowed matters. Isaac sowed in that land. Abraham, take now thy son and go. Go to a location. That's where I will meet with you. God is everywhere. But destiny does not meet with men everywhere. You must have the discernment to understand your season of visitation. I repeat this. You see me speaking like this. I'm speaking by the Spirit. There are some of you, it's an instruction from God to you. Don't be careless about your life. Look at how many Nigerians, you go to embassies and see Nigerians, they want to go abroad by fire, by force. Ask them why. They will say greener pastures. I've told you, greener pastures is not in any physical location on earth. Greener pastures is in the world. When I sent thee, lackest thou anything? Not when you went. Jesus instructed them and said, Do not go. Go only to the lost tribe of Israel. Don't go outside that camp. Because salvation was for the Jews first. If they went to the Gentiles, they would have received a root shock. Direction. Direction. Please, in one minute before we pray for the sick, lift your voice and say, Lord, direct me. He said, The Lord is my shepherd. Direct me. There is a way that seemed right unto a man, unto a woman, unto a family. Direction. 
your blessing is not just generically in US or UK. There are people suffering in every nation. It takes the leadership of the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, two things we are going to do very quickly. And I know you have been doing this, but please, I want to plead with you to do it with understanding. Most times we do things in this kingdom without understanding. That's why we are not blessed. Are we together? We are going to pray for the sick now. Don't walk out here if you expect to walk back the same way. Come here convincing, knowing that God is going to touch you. And while we are doing that, um, your prayer, if you don't have your prayer request, please write it quickly. Write it quickly. And in case your faith, you came here with a faith that is weak, you did write some vital things, you can add it quickly. Those online, you can send it. You can send your prayer request very quickly. Now, we are going to do this very fast because our time is gone. Thank God Pastor Jax is here. Are we together? Now, overflow. Listen, let's not be rowdy. Overflow one outside will walk to your projector stand. Overflow two, you also walk to your projector stand. Overflow three, walk to your projector stand those who are in here you are trusting god to touch you to touch your family members you can make your way and come and stand orderly in front here now please quickly quickly let's do that very quickly while we are doing that please if you have written your prayer request i want you to wave it and ushers you may find a way of splitting yourself very quickly let's let's have ushers if the ushers are not in your pr department you can join them and then let's make it very fast. Make sure everyone's request um, is obtained, please. For those online, I want you to believe by faith. If you are still here to write, just write it. Ushers, please. There are hands all around. Let's help out. Protocol can also help so that we'll make sure that everyone's request. If it's a text on your phone, and you don't have the opportunity to write it down while I'm praying, you can just connect with it. It's not just a ritual. Believe in what we're doing. In the name of Jesus, we stand by this corporate grace and this corporate anointing. Pastor Jax Ejimi, there. Um, Pastor Alpha, Benga, Overflow, one. Pastor Femi, Promise, Overflow, two. Please, quickly, quickly. Let's go there and let's trust God to touch the people. God has anointed this ministry and he has given us the grace to be the extension of the hand of Jesus over your life. And I want you to agree. I want you to believe. The worship team will lead us a moment of praise and worship while we pray. And please listen. Except the people are prophesying to you or they are talking to you. Just a touch. I want you to believe by faith. Are we together? You don't have to start giving them an explanation. This is why I'm here. Don't worry. Just connect by faith. If there is a word for you, the word will be given to you. Otherwise, just believe by faith. Father, we thank you. You call this place Koinonia and this meeting a miracle service. Lord, we pray for those online and those within. We decree and declare. Let there be a free flow of the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the sick be healed. Let the oppressed be delivered. Lord, let this touch not just be the touch of men. Let it be the touch of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, let every one of these people come and testify here in the name of Jesus now those of you who when you submit your prayer request don't just be staring this is not a cinema you should be praying 
Are we together? Because shortly after this, I will pray on this and I will speak over our lives. Prophecy is very powerful. So whilst you are standing there, whether you are, you know, up here or down, you should be prayerful, spiritualize your mentality. Now is not the time to laugh around and be talking carelessly. Let your spirit be alive. Hallelujah. God bless you. Be healed right now in Jesus' name. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Be healed right now.
my song will be that's what my song will be that's what my song will be hallelujah that's what my song will be that's what my song will be and that's what my song will be hallelujah hallelujah that's what my song that's what my song will be 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 hallelujah hallelujah that's what my song that's what my song will be 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 come on say what my song will be and that's what my song will be hallelujah that's what my song will be that's what my song will be that's what my song will be Ado Just pray in the spirit in one minute. Those following from any nation of the world, I'd like you to just pray. We're just going to pray and speak over this. Go ahead. Stretch your hands. We're praying on this request. Shalabakaruta sabre digete katabaladaba. Nataka parakato shadabre digete beledebos. Father, let your people return with testimonies. Ashala gata brada gata barakato sada brada gadech. In the cross asia sahasa barakato shabrada gata baladaba. Rakata branda gata baladabush. Ebratos kada brandi giri baladabush. 
Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let impossible situations be turned around by the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. Lord, it is before you these prayers are laid out. Father, we give you praise. Thank you because whatsoever we ask in your name, that you will do. Thank you for prayers. Thank you for answers. Thank you for praises. Thank you for testimonies that abounds. Father, we give you praise for there is nothing impossible with you. We give you glory because we know situations that have stood hitherto unbeatable. Lord, you will bend things tonight in the name of Jesus. You will change things tonight in the name of Jesus. You will bring breakthroughs by the power of your spirit. You will bring healings. You will bring deliverance. You will bring breakthrough, financial breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. You will bring changes, Lord. Deaths, supernatural deaths will be cancelled by the power of your spirit. Lord, we give you praise. We give you glory. Father, we thank you. Thank you for angels, the release of angels. Angels on assignment. Angels bringing solutions and answers to prayers. Father, we give you praise because many will stand before you to give testimony and give glory to your name. For in the name of Jesus, we give you praise. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It has been declared in the name of Jesus every request here. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, we turn it into testimonies. Yeah. And let some of them begin to manifest from this night. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Let it be by the grace of God that by this time next month, you will, you will almost not have any request to write. In the name of Jesus Christ. Our time is gone, but I want you to lift your hands. I want to speak over your life now. Apostle, why do we do this all the time? Because this is how you program the destinies of people. These words you see, they are not just languages. It's not just the speaking. You know, I never cease to be amazed at how people's lives change overnight just because a word the bible says he sent a word to jacob not he spoke he sent a word to jacob and it lighted upon israel hallelujah and he blessed them saying and he blessed them not thinking saying in the name of jesus i decree and i declare that this month of September you are entering, let it be called your season of strange results. Let it be called your season of strange results. Anyone who has despised the grace of God upon your life, in the name of Jesus, may God use your life to prove a point. I decree and declare over your spiritual life a new vista of insight and access into the mysteries of the spirit I release it upon you right now if you are a man of God here I pray may your ministry shift to a new dimension if you are a woman of God here I pray may your ministry enter a new dimension of power I declare that someone here may you encounter the power of God raw the raw power of God the same way God comes to man may his power come to you may you know the mysteries of the power of God in the name of Jesus Christ I speak over your life this is a family of great favor I declare if this grace is not yet speaking in your life I declare by the hand of God Almighty who brought that anointing upon my life and this house may favor practical favor begin to follow you from today in the name of Jesus Christ 
what you cannot do for yourself i ask my god to do it for you in this season if you're a man of god here i prophesy to you that the next time you stand upon this altar to dispense the word of god may you see a dimension of the spirit through your life and your ministry that will surprise you I know that there are many of us that are trusting God for all kinds of financial breakthrough I've taught you the principles of finances but there is a prophetic dimension of wealth are we together now and in the name of Jesus I declare the same grace that carried a raven and it brought bread to Elijah I decree and declare may that same grace carry your blessings and locate you with it in this season In the name of Jesus I pray for every family represented here in the name of Jesus and I say this from the depth of my heart enough is enough I prophesy it again enough is enough whatever represents setbacks in any family I stand by the anointing of the Holy Spirit and I command that an end comes to it this night every graduate here that is trusting God for a job you had the testimony here in the name of Jesus Christ both where you applied and where you didn't apply may the angel of the Lord see to it that a miracle job locates you those who are in business here in the name of Jesus business is spiritual the grace that will cause your business to command strange results. May that grace come upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. If there is anyone here in any kind of trouble that needs the hand of God, that means if God does not step in for you, you know you are in trouble. I stand by the gift of prophecy and I decree and declare over your life, come out of that trouble now. Whether it's a financial trouble, whether it's whatever, come out of it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every attack on your destiny, I decree and declare from tonight, by the assignment of angels, we ward off that attack in Jesus' name. Whoever has been destined by God to help you rise, and either because of witchcraft or insensitivity in the spirit he has not been able to locate you in the name of jesus i declare i call them by the spirit and i command that they locate you <laughs> believe in every prayer that we're praying we're entering the ember months and many people associate this month with all kinds of demonic activity minus you <laughs> I say it again minus you everyone who is part of this prophetic family and connected to this family I declare the mystery of exemption over you in the name of Jesus Christ that when men say there is a casting down I welcome you into the greatest months that you have to face for this year. I decree and I declare over your life we're rounding up there are some of you nothing ever works in your life it's not like you are lazy it just doesn't work except it fails you to the point that even when you see success you are afraid of it because you know it will not last I declare not only will you be successful I command your results to last I say it again by the Spirit I command your results to last I forbid you from this experience of up today and down tomorrow in the name of Jesus Christ any door that was once open and is now closed I reopen it in Jesus name 
I hope you believe everything I'm saying. Please believe it with all your heart. I pray for every student here. I don't know what challenge you may be having. Or I don't know what you are trusting God for. In the name of Jesus, I pray particularly for students that are supposed to have graduated and one thing or the other is keeping them. I don't care what needs to be done. Let it be done to move you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I say it again. Let it be done to move you. There are some of our young ones that just wrote post UME. In the name of Jesus, there are some of you who the results you have seen now, from that result you will not get anything serious. I change that result now. I change that result now. I change that result now. Believe it, you are too young to walk in unbelief. I change that result now. Anyone assigned here program that you must die or that your loved ones as we enter this ember whether by accident as you are moving listen no but enter it i say it again if that fake cool is doomed for accident then i take you out of it but in the name of jesus if you enter it then it must not crash especially for you my dear brothers it takes a lot for a young man to be established and it's not a blessing if you are just going old and old and old and you have to beg for tea and bread every day in the name of jesus the grace that helps men that can take a man from nowhere and establish him because you have believed the lord i command your establishment now hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and then if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin